All right, so um, my name is Augustin Cruz. Um, actually, it's my response towards the Horatio Elder class activity. Hopefully, I pronounced that name correctly. If I did it, I would appreciate a correction. Um, but anyways, this is actually a really interesting um, activity. I actually have my response, uh, particularly with the number that I got um, for the activity. Um, the number I got was actually 10. Um, I kind of actually expected to get around, you know, 15 you know, or 20 because I just looked at it right now. I have it in front of me just to realize that it has 40 on there. So I kind of expected to have a, you know, high number. No, not particularly, you know, due to me living in California or anything, but, uh, although I did have immigrant, you know, parents, I have also had the benefit of having two siblings who are able to help me in great amounts, a lot more than they had. So I feel like um, this was kind of, if I was in the position of my siblings, I would have possibly got around, um, you know, a six, seven, you know, possibly an eight, I would have to go back. And my positionality on this is, um, you know, I, although it's a 10 out of 40, I mean, that is low, I guess. I'm not really actually sure. I'm interested, you know, seeing into what other people have to say about it, but I genuinely feel that that 10 was, you know, was around my level for somebody who's disabled and, you know, a son of an immigrant, two immigrants, one who never went to a school and another one who never went past high school, essentially, in Mexico. Not exactly, I believe it's called secondary school there. So um, I kind of realized I did have a somewhat privilege, but not to the excess to where I had, you know, 20 or 25 or even 30. I'm curious to see if anybody in here actually has it. But in my opinion, I feel if anybody had like around 30 to 40, um, they might end up getting a privilege to, you know, end up at a higher university, you know, with access to where their parents, you know, their alumni, and they got in due to that, or due to like fraternity, their parents, their father was in, or et cetera, something similar to that. Um, well, uh, so due to going back to certain things that shaped me growing up, um, was due to my epilepsy. I got epilepsy and it's a big identity for me. It's essentially a huge disability which caused me to fail out my first year of university. Um, so I ended up going back to community college due to struggling with it. And so essentially I feel like that's the number one hurdle that I've had in life was all the way back to, um, it goes all the way back to high school. I never got into you know honors programs or you know, IB, AP classes due to a lot of teachers, my um, principal also saying, you know, you're disabled, essentially, you know, I don't believe you're gonna excel in these. Although, I mean, they were not really correct because I feel like I did well, you know, a lot better than um, many of my peers because I pushed myself. Those difficulties I had to overcome due to my epilepsy, you know, shaped me to wanting to push myself because I realize I'm gonna I'm at a disadvantage in life and I don't have the privilege to I guess be able bodied um, like some of my friends do. Um, and I'm gonna connect it back to the bootstraps and it's saying, you know, if somebody pulls themselves by the bootstraps, then they'll be able to you know, get into a better place of life, which honestly, you know, I honestly think that's one of the dumbest things ever because some people, you know, they don't have access to capital, you know, such as money or to get funds for what they want to do. Like, for example, you know, a lot of my uncles, they have their own landscaping business, although they live decently, somewhat decently, a lot better than they would be in Mexico. They don't have the large amount of profits, you know, that um, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, etc. have due to, you know, Bill Gates, Elon Musk or Steve Jobs getting the funding an actual good location to start to build their um, companies at. You know, my uncles had to start from nothing, you know. They never achieved it. It's more like you're pulling up your bootstraps of a designer boot, I guess, in a way. That's what I think would be. But you kind of know you're 
it's not fair you know there's no equality in that you know for example you might get a person who's you know african american has you know a stereotypical name that is frowned upon in society you know once they see that name on you know an application for a loan you know i can assure you you know i may have to look up more information that the banker or somebody is not going to want to help them you know because you know they have the stereotype in there which is not fair in my opinion i generally think that's just there's a lot of factors not just saying hard work but you know stereotypes you know if does the person have money you know you can't just say oh hard work's gonna get me there because now currently in a capitalist society there's a lot more than just pulling yourselves by the bootstraps and gaining success um sorry i mean i'm not reading my answers i just kind of have to have it in front of me because there was i'm trying to answer every single you know of the four questions without having to write everything up um but I look, now i'm ending it and i look forward to seeing everybody's responses thank you so much if you saw this